Okay, ladies, this is Javier with The Real Javier Novoa channel where we apply the principles of spirituality, philosophy, and mysticism to rapid lifestyle transformation. And this is one of very many short videos where we get into the nitty gritty of this channel, where we're gonna be trying to spend 80 to 90% of our efforts in this channel. What I am, at the end of the day, I'm a coach in mental rehearsal. It took me a while to narrow that down. What is my niche? I'm here to coach you in mental rehearsal and everything else that we teach, everything else that we do, everything else that we go into is to coach you and to coach myself in mental rehearsal. So let's do it right now. We want to do this. So first I want you to choose something small. We're going to build up to bigger things. But if you're a black belt at this, if you've been doing this, you can just use this as sort of a game, as sort of a, a practice, as sort of a review. But for those of you who have never done this, you're in for a powerful experience. And you don't need to even close your eyes. You don't need to get into an alpha state, but we're going to do that for the first few times just to get you into the ideal state of this. Because ladies and gentlemen, every time the scriptures talks about the cave, or the sanctuary, or the secret place, I want you to know that that secret place is nowhere else than in your skull. That's right. So what I want you to do is I want you to retreat into your skull. You can take a few deep breaths. I want you to just be completely present. And I want you to feel yourself breathing into your skull. Imagine your brain just illuminating. And you can keep your eyes closed for this. I like to open and close my eyes, but just keep breathing, ladies and gentlemen, into your skull. And illuminate your brain with that energy because it's your skull, it's your brain, which is the Holy of Holies. The biblical scriptures talks about the Ark of the Covenant being carried upon the shoulders of priests. Well, as Christ was quoted as saying in the New Testament, you are the priest, you are the king, and you carry that Ark of the Covenant. And what else is that Ark of the Covenant but your skull? I want you to breathe into that. And now the next breath, we're gonna hold it. I want you to breathe as deeply as you can and hold it and feel your skull just tighten. Hold it, keep holding it. I want you to hold it till it feels a little bit uncomfortable. And then let it out. Now, I want you to start with something simple. And this needs to be something so simple that you can make fun of it. I want you to manifest a pizza. I want you to manifest a candy bar. I want you to manifest $10, but you can start with a sum of money, but sums of money have more complication in the mix. Right now, just focus on a thing. I want you to manifest a piece of chocolate cake. I want you to just get clear. I, let's take the example of the cake, if you like a chocolate cake. I just want you to clearly imagine that chocolate cake. I want you to imagine the icing on top, Perhaps there's dark black Oreo icing on top with some designs made by liquid chocolate. Then I want you to imagine the crust of that cake or the body of that cake being made of chocolate, the icing. While you're in this alpha state, I just want you to look at that cake. Then I want you to notice what your natural reactions are. You're salivating to that. Now, if you don't believe it or feel it, if you have any negative emotion, I just want you to get off that emotion and get back onto focusing on the cake. You can even sort of notice what kind of room you're in. You can make it any room that you like. It could be in your kitchen. It could be a room that you just made up. It's a very nice minimalistic room with a beautiful table with a glass top on it. And you have a paper plate and you have this beautiful piece of cake. And there's a fork sitting on that. Imagine it's a paper for it so that you can throw it away later. You don't have to wash dishes after this. 
I want you to just keep imagining that. Then what I want you to do is I want you to take the fork, I want you to get a piece of the cake, and I want you to take a bite of that cake. I want you to put it in your mouth. And I want you to taste all of the tastes and the flavors and feel the texture of that. If you do this with great focus, scientists have discovered that the same area of your brain lights up as if when you are actually eating a physical cake. That's because right now you've jumped film rolls. Right now you're on a film roll where you're eating that cake. And I want you to just enjoy that piece of cake. I want you to take another bite and totally chew the cake and taste the cake. Did you do that? Did you swallow the cake? Now I just want you to open your eyes again. And if you did this, ladies and gentlemen, with complete presence, complete mindfulness, and complete focus, then you're sort of shocked. You get a little bit of a shock when you come back into your reality. And that is the biblical story of Esau and his brother, where he deceived his father. And we'll go into this more, but you're actually deceiving the senses. You're bypassing your senses and you're actually going to another film role. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all there is to <coughs> mental rehearsal. <coughs> and we're going to get it to where you can go into more complicated scenes, more grandiose scenes, but it doesn't go further than that. And you'll notice you had almost no resistance to the chocolate cake because it's not something big. It's not something that you give importance to. And I promise you, a chocolate cake is going to manifest in your reality. Don't go out and buy one. But one is going to manifest in your reality. It's going to happen in a way that you didn't expect. You're going to be at work and someone's going to say, Oh, you know, it's my birthday and I brought this chocolate cake. And it might not look exactly like the one that you had in your vision. That's okay because the vision is just a permission slip. It's a placebo. But you will have that and it'll come out in a way that you didn't expect. And then you'll say, wow, this really works, and you'll increase your faith. And I want you to keep doing that with small things. Do it with a chocolate cake. Do it with a pizza. Do it with $10. Do it with $5. And I promise you, when you start manifesting these things quickly, you'll be able to move on to bigger and bigger mental rehearsals. So that is mental rehearsal, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to be spending a lot of time coaching you in those modalities. So please subscribe and like if you find this material of value. We are doing coaching calls where I will take this to the max with you and we will put the email in the description. Also our Facebook group for manifesting black belts. We're still accepting, uh, inv we're still inviting people for that. So please join us while we have that open. Until next time, with great love and appreciation, this is Javier and I'll see you soon.